Sam, come on. Camera's over this way. You can you can talk to me like this. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sam Whitwer. He is the star of uh, Days Gone, and uh, I was shocked to see. I know you from way interviews back. and way back and Force, uh, Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, boom! You're in a brand new video yeah. game that was revealed to the world for the first time at the Sony presser. Yeah. You have to keep your lips tightly sealed about all the cool stuff that you work on. And how long have you been working on this game? Oh, uh, yeah. now buddy. you can talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've been working on this game for like a year and a half. Yeah. The people at Bend have been working on it like for three years. So wow. nothing can, by comparison to how hard they've worked. Tell it's kind of great. Like all these people work really, really hard. And then you go through a demo like that. Yeah. And everyone's really impressed. And everyone's coming to you and going, hey, man, great job. And you're yeah. like, yeah. what about those guys? <laughs> They're the ones that made it look cool. Well, you know, I think that, that part of the attraction of this industry, we're so trained with uh, Hollywood to kind of zero in on faces that we're familiar with. And I think that's becoming more and more a part of video games in a lot of ways. There aren't too many people that have got like multiple roles that are, that are faces and voices in video games. It's it's becoming more common, I think. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I... I well, I don't, was, was Force Unleashed one of the first, or if not the first? Was one it the of the first? Yeah, I mean, it was really surprising interviewing you back in the day, and then it's like, that is you, dude. Yeah. But now it's becoming a little bit more common. It's a little bit more common. Yeah. I remember when I played, like, Dead Space way back, yeah. and a couple of the actors, because, you know, that game was largely monsters, but in the beginning there were some characters, yeah. and a couple of the actors I recognized from TV shows and films, so I'm like, oh, they're starting to do this now. Yeah. This is cool. I mean, back in the day, I completely underestimated how much that connection works for players because yes. there hasn't been like a week that goes by since Force Unleashed was released like eight years ago yeah. that someone doesn't ask about it. For so sure, yeah. um, it's it's awesome. It's very it's fun for me because yeah. again, like I said, I get a lot more credit that way. Um, undeserved credit, I should. I oh, should come say. on, dude. No, you. I know, I know a big part of the reason why you get this work is you love this industry and you love these games. You love being a part of it. Tell me about the attraction of uh, Days Gone when you started to get the pitch on this one. Well, uh, for this, I mean, if, if Force Unleashed was kind of Errol Flynn, Star Wars, high adventure, yeah. this, uh, the gentleman over there, John Garbin, uh, will continually direct me to not be presentation, to yeah. be very, very bare and stripped down because yeah. that's sort of one of the themes of the game is that the world has been cannibalize it's uh, things have really gone wrong and that the characters should feel as barren as the landscapes in some way yeah. while at the same time the adrenaline of the circumstance and all the danger that's what brings the charge into the character yeah so you see this shell of a man walking around but then these extraordinary things happen and it, and it really makes him lively but it's a it's a very different type of performance than uh, than you would get out of some high adventure Errol Flynn 1940s Star Wars thing. I mean, the, the demo that we've seen, the little bits, of, it doesn't look like you make it out alive, man. It looks like, <laughs> it, it looks like your end. Like you're looking in every direction. There are zombies coming at. How the hell do you get out of that? You just, if you can't beat them, join them. Oh. You just let them turn you. And it's a different game from then on. It's a more winning game at that point. Yeah. You're really breaking no some problem. embargoes I'm right breaking there. Breaking some embargoes. You that's that's the beginning of the game, you get turned and the rest of the game, you're one of the horde chasing after a different player. You know this is gonna be breaking news all yeah. over the world right now. Where'd yeah. you go, Sam? Because no one really knows if I'm joking or not. I could be completely serious, but I'm gonna I'm sticking to my guns. Yeah. You're a part of the horde in this game. Was the uh exp no, it's not happening. Was the experience of acting in this like traumatizing for you? I mean, this is dark stuff. It doesn't Dude, look like it's light. It's not Dead Rising, you know? Uh, this is I'll put heavy stuff. I'll put it to you this way. When yeah. we did Star Wars, um, it was the dark side character, so there was a lot of dark stuff, but it's Star Wars, so there's a lot of energy and, and some humor to it, right? Yeah. Uh, so it was a happy, fun, laughing set. Yeah. This, they're asking me to be kind of de <laughs> depressed yeah, yeah. and going through the end of the world. Yeah. At one point, someone said, "Hey, hey, you know, uh, you could you could joke a little bit more on the set." You know? <laughs> and if I mean, you know me from being human, we're constantly joking on the set and yeah. going crazy. Yeah. So I wanted to punch the guy when he said that. I'm like, this is not the set for that. Yeah. It's, you know, I, it's not one of those things where you can just laugh and laugh and laugh and they say action and then give the same type of performance. Totally. Even though. When Courtney Draper shows up, that's exactly what happens sometimes. But okay. that's her fault. That's not yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a professional. She's not a pro. No, she's not a pro. Yeah, she's yeah. never done this before. <laughs> Courtney Draper, by the way, is the uh, actress who played Elizabeth in Bioshock Infinite. So nice. there have certainly been scenes where during a take, I'll be running around and 
she'll be like, Booker! And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Throw me something. Well, speaking of uh, Booker and uh, Troy Baker, obviously this borrows elements, you know, thematic elements yeah. of The Last of Us. It almost looks like it could be a derivation of, uh, of that world. We're but using uh, some of the facial tech. Well, an evolution of the same facial tech that they use. So they kind of set a tone and a bar, I think, yeah. right? Is that something that you guys as performers and as as game makers kind of, you know, leaned from and learned from For sure. to, to elevate this game? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think who amongst the gaming population has not played The Last of Us at least twice? Yeah. Um, it's such an incredible game. And I, I couldn't speak to, you know, where we're going to fare in terms of, you know, how that goes. I mean, I will say this. Last of Us was a very directed, very uh, narrative story that yes. had a critical path, yeah. as most games do. And, and because of that, um, they could evolve a very compelling story in a, in a reliable way. Ours is open world, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a different thing, you know, to uh, to figure out how to get a linear story into that unpredictable open world yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't explain some of the cool things that they've created for that open world. I, I think I'm I'm sworn to secrecy, but there's certain tech and certain things that they've been able to do to truly realize an open world in a way that hasn't been done before. Uh, so, so again, the story is going to be a little bit branching, a little bit out there, and it, depending on how the player plays, it may not be as concentrated as the last of us. It may be more sparse, or if you go critical path, maybe it'll be a similar experience. But the themes are about hope, losing hope, trying to get it back in the worst of circumstances. So for in that way, it has that in common with The Last of Us. I'm still not convinced you survived that scene no. that we've seen. I, I'm pretty so. sure that's the end no, of the game. I die, and then Troy Baker shows up. <laughs> oh, is that a, Yeah. And Nolan North sweeps and, in. And, and to the surprise of no one in the video game industry, no, Troy yeah. Baker shows up. Troy Baker up. shows up <laughs> as some character, <laughs> and then Nolan North just cracks wise the whole time as your sidekick. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, Sam, indeed. it's always a treat to have you, you on our show, much. man. Good to see that. you, and uh, good luck with Days Gone, my man. Come on! Come on! Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.